All right, so I wanted to do a bit of a quick deck tech. Made a couple of changes, uh, mostly to the three sort of flex cards uh, that I had in the deck. I was running sort of an extra Mind Stone and then two Scavenging Oozes. Uh, I'd cut the Endbringer a while ago because I found it not to be particularly helpful. And as for the Scoozes, they're, they're good. I mean, they're a good modern card, but I was just finding that it never actually was a clincher for me. They never helped me win a game. Um, I very rarely ended up even using them to sort of pull cards from the graveyard to stop Snapcasters, that sort of thing, which I thought I was going to have uh, a great use for. So I went back to the deck and, and I wanted to try a couple things. I've tried some Simeon Spirit Guides to speed the deck up a little bit, and that was pretty good. But um, then I came ac across the uh, on uh, Crop Crashers uh, as an idea. And generally speaking, my deck construction uh, revolves around the idea of finding out what the deck is supposed to do and then just going all in on that. And so the deck realistically, for the most part, is value and haste. Uh, you got your value creatures and your mattery shapers that replace themselves or get me a land drop, which helps me curve ahead or or pull, uh, pull some removal in a clinch. Um, we've got Obligator with its fun little trigger um, and all of the other fancy sort of Eldrazi. Now, the problem that I had was I oftentimes found that I wanted to cast a three drop early uh, that was hasty, that, that could get in for a, a few damage at the beginning of the game when the board was relatively clear. And so I was casting Obligator early but then I was missing out on the later game obligation trigger which I think is one of the benefits of obligator to help keep the board clear so with that in mind trying to keep the board clear that's where crasher came in crasher is a more resilient creature it's a uh, it's a three two and so uh, it it uh, it can't be sort of poked away quite as easily it's also hasty so it fits in the deck it's a a three creature uh, and it's got its exert ability which also allows me to sort of stop a blocker from getting in the way so a lot of times I find that uh, between you know obligating something and, and then using the crasher ability which you can use whenever you choose um, you can actually get in a lot of damage it can be quite scary you can get in for six you can get in for nine in the early game uh, quite easily and it's really difficult to come back from that. So anyway, I'm going to play some games with uh, the Minotaurs in there. Uh, I'm not ready to rename the deck yet to RG um, uh, Altrazator. I mean, I, I love the sound of that. It sounds like a giant dinosaur, but instead it's tentacly creatures with horns, which is really what I think um, uh, Thought Not Serious, it, it's, an, uh, it, it's really just a Minotaur and an Altrazi body. So anyway, um, that's a, a bit of my rationale for those changes. Boarding. All right. Continuing on our Minotaur adventure. This might be the first game I show. I did just, um, just beat some 8-whack. But, uh, I mean, that's not super exciting. I've already got that on uh, on YouTube already. Um, I'm going to mulligan this mess. Uh, this is a little better. Uh, that doesn't hurt. Code blue. So I've got, uh, I've got a few things to do here. Human. Human. There's a very beautiful aether vial. Well, my top deck, uh, my top deck of reality smasher, that'd be pretty good. After that, I'm, I'm really one away still from doing anything. I might have to, you know, like, uh, put that Cavern of Souls on Minotaur. Rough game one, I think. Yeah, 
don't care. That's where you take a card? Okay. I think that's what that one does. This deck seems really good, but really weak to uh, to certain types of removal, hey? You gonna swing in? Probably not. Okay. I'm gonna block. Gets his plus one token. Choose a non-creature, non-land card. Oh, so just a spell? No, well, there's nothing for you there, dude. Nothing, honey. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So you get... You got me here. I forgot about that. Vile. That vile, vile. That was not great. That, that that's not that's not happiness for me. You know what? I think I'm gonna lose this game. So let's just uh, put in some uncounterable Minotaur. So many, so many, so many turns away from those elves. This is a foregone conclusion. Not without some some changes here. So let's make some changes. We're gonna get some ratchet bombs in here. We're gonna get that in here. We're gonna get some more removal. Some natural states. So I gotta get rid of eight, hey? Uh, let's get rid of some smashers. And a mine stone. Maybe an ob no. I think the obligator is okay. We got uh, maybe a reshaper, and let's just do like maybe one of each. Just winging it here. I'm gonna start cutting out some of this crud. Yeah, I wanna play first. Obviously. Okay. I 
looks a little better. Oh, put down a vial. Put down a vial. Champion and Parish, okay. That's a pretty solid first play. So next turn, I can blow up everything. Cast something. I don't want it to be free booted. Uh oh. It's gonna be free booted. Nope, dark confident. That's good. Let's see if you'll just take the damage. Nice. get me some uh, it's gonna get me ahead in the race I think Just attack with your creature instead. Mantis Rider? Okay, that works too.
That's right. That's right. Feel exerted. Now on to game three. Game three versus humans. Mm, humans, okay. You can really afford to miss a land drop this with this deck. see what I'm dealing with. Um, definitely get rid of meddling mage. Because I can always remove later. And that's it. 